whether vegetarian, meat eater, celibate, you know, all the different gradations, they're all categories. And, and clearly, it's all about giving yourself over to an experience where the categories and the boxes and the concepts just dissolve away. And that experience is, is the answer. So, so it's, it's a loosening of identification with those thoughts, those boxes and categories. And however the Spirit guides that, you know, it, I mean people sometimes will say, is indulgence better than repression, or is repression better than indulgence? Kind of implying that they're both defense mechanisms that neither have a sense of total fulfillment with them, but, but one is neither better or worse than the other. And once you start to see that they're, they're, neither is better or worse, then you realize that the Spirit's going to have to use whatever you're locked into to help unlock your mind. And it depends on how you're locked in, of how, how you'll get unlocked. So that's why it's very spontaneous and it's highly individualized. We can't go back to the old days of religion like, here's the do's and the don'ts and never do this, always do that, never do this, you know. That, that will not get you out of the, of the trap. But the guidance of the Spirit, as long as perception lasts, everything is just mirroring and reflecting mind and consciousness. So, it's not so much that Spirit indwells in the material form, but it's the Spirit is all that is, and whatever veils over the Spirit has to be, has to be removed or lifted. The veil has to be lifted to, to know the light. So, uh, yeah, I, I have had a, a three-legged cat with me, even though the faces of the people have changed over the years, the most fixture face has been this little cat face, tripod. Um, and it's been beautiful because uh, even over here now in Hawaii, uh, I was getting reports back, oh, she's not doing well, and yeah, over and off, I would hear she, she may be dying and all these different things. But um, I just see everything in terms of, of awareness and training, and, and if you feel the sense of love and fullness, and you let that just expand and expand, that's what this is about. It's about awakening to, to divine love. And then people, animals, plants, everything is just reflect, perceptual reflections, and they help us remove the obstacles. Because whenever we have a charge with anything, or an attachment, like Buddha talked about to anything, then we, we do see we have something to release. And it's actually helping us release it. It's helping us be aware of what we need to release. So I, I've seen it that way. It's not kind of looking for a positive sense of relationship with people and things. It's more, thank you for the mirroring that you're offering to my awareness, that I may be free. But I've never had a sense, you know, of trying to find life in the temporary. You know, the body is, is very temporary. Whether it's a, a cat body or a human body, it's, it's not going to be the, the eternal. It's just a device that's getting used along the way. And, and caregiving can be a way of, of, again, just like with Mother Teresa's service, it's a way of getting out of the, like the ego itself, as long as you don't make a, a self-concept out of it as a caretaker. <laughs> and then you feel like a responsibility, a heaviness that comes in when you turn it into, a, you know, an identity. But I do think it's beautiful how the Spirit comes through us in a very nurturing, caring way draws us higher and higher.